good afternoon to all today we are discussing about the uh, seventh chapter from our physical science ninth class english medium the chapter is seventh one atoms molecules and the chemical reactions this is the first topic from this chapter my name is b rajendra school of science physical science jphs nutan kal today we are discussing about this chapter now we are hearing the words as matter or substances and compounds elements and atoms these words are uh, re- um, these words are regularly we are hearing from seventh class what is the substance or matter some examples we have to see here one water food oil air these are the substances or matters and compounds compounds means water oxygen carbon dioxide charcoal starch etc and also atoms oxygen hydrogen carbon etc elements oxygen hydrogen carbon iron the latin name is ferrum sodium magnesium silver etc what are the substances what are the compounds what are the elements what are the atoms this um all words will be explained in this chapter we know this scientist henry cavendish is discovered hydrogen atom and also joseph fischli and antony levis have commonly discovered the oxygen what uh, he discovered how he discovered what he explained we know about this antony levis is a french scientist he known as father of modern chemistry he known as father of modern chemistry he explained the law of conservation of mass law of conservation of mass by the experiments in a chemical reaction and before of the reaction we know that uh, materials as reactants and after completion the re- chemical reaction we know that uh, materials as products so reactants before the chemical reaction after the chemical reaction we called that uh, as products as products here we observing a picture that is a charcoal when you burn the charcoal the matter will be disappear after some time completion of the combustion where does the matter of charcoal go where does the matter of charcoal go just to we simply says that before of the combustion the mass of the charcoal is more after completion of the combustion the ch- um, weight of the charcoal is very 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 less just like we observing ash only some smoke will be goes out some heat will be evolves heat ash and the smoke will be evolves in the combustion process of the charcoal as well as we observe another uh, example in our daily life wet clothes dry after some time in a sunshine where does that water go the water will be evaporate simply we know this one. and also another experiment we will be uh, observe here a new are uh, recently made nail is a uh, very shiny uh, and uh, if we put this one in a moisture place 
for a long time it will be rusting if you leave more days after that we observe it will be totally rusting if you calculate the weight of the nail before the rusting and after on rusting what will be happens is it decreasing or increasing what will be happens does the weight of the iron rod increase or decrease on rusting does the weight of iron rod increase or decrease on rusting simply you thought that simply we say that loss of the weight but after completion of this lesson we can conclusion about it we can conclude about it and also we observe another activity that is magnesium ribbon uh, we observe that a magnesium ribbon in our lab activity uh, like this in eighth class we done in metals and non metals lesson we uh, burned the magnesium ribbon and uh, observed the formation of the ash magnesium oxide and as well as a very light and fire what happens to magnesium burning it in air as well as what happens to sulfur on burning it in air in these two activities we get that some loss of the mass after completion of the combustion or burning simply we say that is it correct is it a fact really one question is there or the ways of the reactants means before of the chemical reaction is equivalent to after completion of the reaction means that products is same or differ are the ways of the reactants and products same or differ different think and discuss recall the burning of the magnesium ribbon in air do you think mass is converted during the during this reaction after completion of this one we can discuss in our textbook there is an activity that is lab activity lab activity mean, means it is conditionally we done so what is the aim of the lab lab activity what is the aim of the lab activity now aim to find out the change in the mass before and after a chemical reaction before of the chemical reaction what mass we noted and after completion of the reaction what mass this one also noted and compare that here we are exam we are observing so many examples that are combustion of charcoal burning of charcoal or burning of magnesium ribbon whatever it may be the change or the change in the mass before and after a chemical reaction is our aim after completion of this lab activity so aim of the lab, uh, lab activity is to find out the change in the mass before and after a chemical reaction for this activity what materials we required that materials required one is lead nitrate pb no3 taken twice lead nitrate one chemical potassium iodide and second chemical here two chemicals are there one is lead nitrate and another one is potassium iodide distal water conical flasks to the size of the or the volume of the conical flasks may be 250 ml and spring balance small test tube retard stand rubber cork requiring of the materials are lead nitrate potassium iodide distilled water conical flask spring balance small test tube 
retard stand rubber car now first step prepare a solution of lead nitrate pbno3 taken twice how we prepare a solution of lead nitrate first take a 250 ml of conical plus in that one 2 grams of lead nitrate take taken by the spatula and pour into the 100 ml of distilled water then we get that 100 ml of solution of lead nitrate the color we observe as colorless this one we noted down on your notebook observation one is the solution of lead nitrate colorless and second one prepare a solution of potassium iodide take 2 grams of potassium iodide by the spatula and dissolves in 100 ml of distilled water in 250 ml conical flask here also we taking 2 grams of potassium iodide and dissolves in 100 ml of distilled water and uh, we observe that color as colorless and note this one also and after that we take 250 ml of conical flask and uh, in this one taking 100 ml of lead nitrate in this 100 ml of lead nitrate we take another small test tube in the test tube we taking 4 ml of solution that potassium iodide in a small test tube and tighten with a thread and put in the 100 ml of lead nitrate solution conical flask here we taking a precaution carefully we doesn't mix these two chemicals we taking very 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 care here and hanging this test to 4 ml of potassium iodide solution in 100 ml of lead nitrate without mixing taking very care and uh, tighten the rubber cork to this conical flask this total operates will be hang to a spring balance with help of a retard stand and note that ways of the this op operators before of a chemical reaction hang the test tube potassium iodide in the conical flask with a cork weigh the flask with its contents carefully using spring balance using spring balance we are taking this one we are taking this one very carefully without mixing and note down the weight of this operators after that we tint and seal the flask the small test will be hang in the, and uh, pour this potassium iodide into lead nitrate and the two chemical solutions will be mixed after mixing these two chemical reaction will be occurred and we observe that what color will be change here observe the change of color and also after completion of the total chemical reaction once again we hanging this uh, operates to that a spring balance and note down the ways of the operates here lead nitrate is colorless potassium iodide is also colorless when you are both these two mixing in a glass jar we will be observe that yellow is precipitate will be pop after completion of the chemical reaction the colorless lead nitrate and colorless potassium iodide mix and forms lead iodide and potassium nitrate with lead iodide it is gives that yellow is precipitate color so we are observing here the change of the color the color has yellowish and yellowish precipitate is formed after completion of the reaction we will be weighs once again in our textbook there are three figures are there in figure 1 we are taking 100 ml of lead nitrate and hang 
four ml of potassium hydride solution in a small test tube that is hang with a thread and tighten with a rubber car and hang this one to the spring balance before of the chemical reaction without mixing of these two chemical reactions we taking the waste and we are observing that colors also lead nitrate also colorless potassium iodide also colorless and also weight this three observ and we will be get that change in the color of lead nitrate and potassium iodide after completion of the chemical reaction we observe that yellowish precipitation form after completion of this reaction we will be get that yellowish precipitate after this we will be hang this total operator to the spring balance and once again we taking the ways after completion of the chemical reaction after completion of the chemical reaction these three observations we have done and we can record it as ways of the flask and the contents before mixing means before chemical reaction we observe that 127 grams and after completion of this chemical reaction after mixing after formation of the yellowish color also we will be get that 127 grams here why we are getting that equal ways means there is no leakage there is no loss of any substance in this reaction so conditionally we done this experiment from this experiment we taking the result as a chemical reaction takes place and the mass remains same before and after the chemical reaction before of the chemical reaction how much of the waste is how much of the mass is there same equivalent to that after completion of the chemical reaction also therefore mass is neither created or not destroyed in a chemical reaction here i explain this one in uh, telugu oka chemical reaction jarigina tarvata chemical reaction jaragakam mundu aa padarthalaku enta ఎంతవేరాశి ఎంత వెయిట్ అయితే ఉంటుందో ఎంత మాస్ అయితే ఉంటుందో ఆ కెమికల్ రియాక్షన్ జరిగిన తర్వాత కూడా అంతే ద్రవ్యరాశి లేదా అంతే బరువు ఉంటుంది అంతే మాస్ ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి మనము పదార్థాన్ని మాస్ ని ఎప్పుడు కూడా క్రియేట్ చేయలేము అంటే సృష్టించలేము డిస్ట్రాయ్ చేయలేము అంటే నాశనము చేయలేము మనం ఫస్ట్ ఒక ఎగ్జాంపుల్ చేశాము చార్కోల్ బొగ్గును తీసుకున్నప్పుడు ముందు ఎంత బరువు అయితే వంద గ్రాముల బొగ్గును తీసుకొని మనం మండిస్తే లేదా కిలో బొగ్గును తీసుకొని మనం మండిస్తే మనకు ఒక వంద నూట యాభై గ్రాముల బూడిద మాత్రమే మిగులుతుంది అంటే మిగిలిన తొమ్మిది వందల ఎనిమిది వందల యాభై గ్రాముల పదార్థం అంతా డిస్ట్రాయ్ అయిందా నాశనం అయిపోయిందా అని చెప్పి మనం అనుకోవడానికి వీల్లేదు బిఫోర్ ఆఫ్ ది 